Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning on this Friday. Happy, fantastic, fabulous Friday where everyone in the world is chosen again speaking. I just thank the Lord for life, health, and strength. Thank you for seeing another day. I hope you all have a blessed day. But today, we are going on to Psalms 1 to 6, right? And then we are going on to chapter 5. And Monday, we will end it off there because it's only six topics. So the last one will be Monday, and then we will be talking about um, healthy tips. Take off your hair and all these things, right? Before we do the prayers and things that I said. So let us pray. I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope those of you all going to work, be safe when you work, be careful, and always be praying to the Lord Jesus Christ because he's everything to you, right? So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, Father Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus all around the world, people who are listening to me and hearing me, Father Lord, that Father Lord, they will understand you, Father Lord. They will comprehend what you are saying, Father Lord. As I'm about to bring a lecture, Father Lord, session, Father Lord, and your Bible, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, that the scripture of verse, Father Lord, be a meaningful thing to them, Father Lord, that Father Lord, they will understand, they will comprehend what you are saying, Father Lord. They will listen to the voice of the Lord and stop listening to voices, other voices. So I pray, Father Lord, that it will be established, Father Lord, that their homes will be transformed by your grace and by your mercy and favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, as about to bring everything into care, allow the Holy Spirit to guide them accordingly. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, amen. So, God loves you. So, those of you all have all the Holy Bible, all the King James Version, New Testament, and also a, a notebook and pen it will be useful right for this exercise okay or if you just want to sit back and relax you can sit back and relax okay this will be a short video today right but god is good all the time all the time god is good thank you lord jesus so we are going on to psalms one two six one to Psalms one to six, one to six. Okay. So it says in Psalms one to six, one to six, right? When the Lord brought back the captives who returned to Zion, we were like those who dream. It seems so unreal. Psalms fifty three six, Acts twelve nine. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue was singing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Verse 4. Turn to freedom our captivity, and restore our fortunes, O Lord, as the streams in the south are restored by the torrents. They who sow in tears shall reap in joy and singing. Everybody who heard me from the back, the side, the front, right and in the middle he who goes forth bearing seed and weeps at needing his precious supply of grain for sowing shall do shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him okay so that is a saw right so Father Lord Jesus, I just pray that Psalm 126 will be a blessing to the house of the focus on you they will seek you they will praise and worship you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord Amen so this verse is saying in Psalm 126, right? Because the Lord brought the Lord brought back captives. That means the Lord brought back from the Egypt from the Old Testament. Because Pharaoh have them captive and bondage. And saints of God, we sometimes our our um when we are in that place of torment and torture and the enemy is torturing us and all these things, we have to put a stop to that. We have to pray. Just as how yesterday video I just say that is a mental victimized state we just be in right our brains are trapped our mindsets and all these things right so you need to focus on the lord you need to just set your eyes upon the lord jesus christ open your eyes and see that jesus christ is talking to you and listen to his voice and you and you will get downloads you will get things that you never see before in your life god will show you things in dreams and visions right so take down notes as necessary Right? Every day have a small notebook and a pen to jot down what you want. Have your vision board. Have these things intact. Right? Do not forget to pray. Do not forget to anoint your oil. 
your homes outside in and all these things right so it's saying right so then was our mouth filled with laughter and joy cometh in the morning right trouble will never last always right trouble will always be there for a time right because everything is for a time and season underneath the sun right according to ecclesiastes right we have to just give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy and right forever. We have to give thanks, right? Because we, our mouths are filled with the joy of the Lord. Our mouths are filled with the peace of the Lord. Our mouths are filled with the Holy Ghost too, right? Because when time passed, when we were empty, we were hungering for water. We were hungering for something to drink. But when the Holy Ghost fill us up, fill our brims up, with his presence we are joyous we are laughing we are happy in him we are not sad and sulky right because and, and not fearful right we fear god not man right so god has done great things among the nations god is doing something beautiful among this earth behind the scenes is, despite what what evil is doing right we have to focus on the good we have to focus on the positivity. We have to focus on what God tells us to do, right? He is doing something behind the scenes. We have to wait. And when we occupy ourselves in Jesus Christ, we will see abundant blessings. We will see change wrong lives. We will see our family going the correct way than how they are going. They need help and they need prayers. Pray for one another, saints of God. Pray for one another and allow Jesus Christ to enter into your life. Allow the Holy Spirit to take over your life, okay? So verse 3 is saying, the Lord has done great things for us. Yes, he has done plenty things for us. He wake us up is a miracle to wake up because that's some people not waking up, right? Some people are in hospital, some people die, all these things. So we had to thank the Lord that we have to be grateful and thankful that Jesus Christ um, wake us up in the morning, that we could see our other day, a brand new day. Every day is a brand new day for us, okay? So that is what um the lord has done plenty great things and we are glad right we are rejoicing through thanksgiving and praise and worship right turn to freedom our captivity and restore our fortunes so sam david is praying to the lord and said turn oh lord we are in captivity we are we are in bondage we don't want to be in bondage anymore we are stressful we are frustrated Father, Lord, free us. Break every yoke of the enemy. Break every chains that bound in us. And our minds are conflict and all these things. We are stuck, right? But when you come, you come to save us, Lord, from freedom. You come to set us free from all the barriers of Satan, from all the barriers of the enemy for all these years. You are free by the Lord Jesus Christ. He has washed you. He has cleansed you. He has forgiven you. He has made you whole again, okay? So he will restore every single thing, all the fortunes, what you have, all the money, what you have, all the things that you lost. He will restore, he will rebuild, he will rejuvenate your life. He will give you new life to breathe, right? And they who sow in tears shall reap in joy and singing. So they, those who, saints of God, those who, you, saints of God, have to sow in tears and praise and worship. And you will have joy in your heart and singing, not sorrow, right? Because when you have you have just a different joy in your heart, people will never understand the type of joy you have. But when you show, when you sing, when you sing, it's not only just singing alone, dry, dry soul. It's singing for the Lord. It's having a relationship, a bond, a communication with Jesus Christ. And when you do that, you are changed and washed and cleansed. You are a different individual. You are not the same old person because old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. But when you are a new vessel, people will wonder how. They will have conflict in their mind. They will criticize. They will do all types sort of things. But you don't have to study that. All you have to do is have a straight, straightforward mindset. A fixed mindset and you'll be able to go through life you won't have to worry because god never gave you a spirit of fear right always saying that in our videos but power and love and a strong mind so we must have the power 
we must have the love and the song mind song mind means very silent right not everything you will talk about sometimes you have to be silent sometimes you need a space right as a christian person saints of god okay so you must sow into tears and shall reap in joy and singing right because what a man so he will reap in this case right but when you when you sow into bad soil you will not get a harvest you know you will get circumstances consequences and things so you have to you have to be aware saints of god what are you sowing into what are you sowing into that is the question right so coming back to the psalm 126 right he who goes forth bearing seed and weeps at needing his precious supply of grain for sowing shall doubtless come again with rejoicing so he who goes forth in the field with just a seed right a tomato seed anything harvest will come because without that seed nothing will grow every every the land will dry up right the field will dry up and thing so come like in the word of god when you are sowing into tears and prayers and rejoice and singing praises him and repenting and doing all these things jesus and you're obeying the lord jesus christ you will get a harvest you will get abundance you'll get open doors you get opportunities you'll get all these things but if you don't do that you'll be a lost soul right if you don't obey the lord jesus christ and go back in your ways you'll be a lost soul okay so i hope this psalm 126 right one to six will be a blessing to your hearts right but now we are reading again psalm 127 right except the lord builds the house they labor in vain who built it except the lord keeps the city the watchman wakes but in vain psalms 121 135 it is vain for you to rise up early to take rest late to eat the bread of anxious toil for he gives blessings to his beloved in sleep low children are a heritage from the lord the fruit of the womb is a reward deuteronomy 28 4 as arrows are in the hand of a warrior so are the children of one's youth happy blessed and fortunate is the man those who in the back in the front in the side in the middle okay hearing me right have an ear let them hear right what jesus christ is saying right happy blessed and fortunate is a man whose quiver is filled with them they will not be put to shame when they speak with their adversaries and gatherings at the city's gate so accept the lord the lord will build a house for you the lord will grow you the lord will build you up first the Lord will equip you, right? Equip you with his grace, his mercy, and favor, right? He is the one in control. He, when we do labor, work in vain. He will build us up, right? Because the Lord will keep the city. The Lord will work on it, right? Just as how he working on us as Christian people. Just as how he working and he strategizing and he talking to us. Listen to the voice of the Lord, saints of God. Stop listening to other voices. Other voices is toxic, right? listen have a straight mind right pray fellowship worship seek him and these things right and it is in vain for you to rise up early so it is in vain what it is your girls get up early in the morning for right some people lazy some people just don't want to do anything right but everybody have a choice right it's either they choose right or wrong but when you are vain vanity right you could rise up in the early morning and take up your bible and read if it's read a, a scripture verse if it's read a little verse or whatever you could do that but some people just forget about the lord and they go on their merry way no 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 stop doing that right be grateful and thankful for jesus christ in your life because without jesus christ in our lives we are, will not be here right this world will not be formed is the world is formed through jesus christ jesus christ is the creator of all things right not the enemy the enemy is lying right the enemy and other people who follow him is lying to their own selves right but you have to know that as a christian person we have to pass through all these tests these trials and tribulations to get through to the other side where the other side is paradise and is overflowing blessings and is milk and honey and thing right so low children are a heritage so 
God is going to give you inheritance, right? God is going to give you blessing and abundance. He is going to bless you, right? Just as how the children of Israel, he had it to take out from the, they was given trouble and all saying was disobedient to the Lord, but after a while they had it to repent and they had it to, because God passed the Red Sea for them. The children of Israel was disobedient, but when they realized and think that they repent and they went and kissed Jesus' feet and his things, okay? So, happy, blessed, and fortunate is the man who's quiver, right? So, happy and blessed. So, God is going to bless you among your wildest, your wildest expectations. God is going to bless you. If you just focus on him, if you just wait on him, do not rush. Wait on him. Allow Jesus Christ to work. Allow Jesus Christ to equip you with his tools and strategies that you will be able to go to the other level right you cannot carry no baggage you cannot carry no burden all you have to do give your burdens to the lord right so i hope this i hope this psalm 126 and 127 will be a blessing to all your hearts that all your focus on the lord that all your understand that jesus christ is everything to you and whatever is going on in your environment in your neighborhood in your city in your state in your country wherever right you are safe and marked as safe by the lord Jesus Christ. the angels are working behind the scenes to fulfill your destiny right let us pray heavenly father we just thank you for this short little bible study on psalms 126 127 i pray for the name of jesus all around the world in america caribbean people are listening to me for lord that will focus on you that will understand for lord that they are meaningful and they have a purpose and a plan and you have a purpose and a plan for their, each and every one of their lives i pray for our lord yes that whatever they are thinking and their mindsets for our lord that mindsets will be unfixed on you and not fixed on no one else but you father lord, that lord they will understand that you are the prize you are the one in control you are the one get wake them up you are the one have them alive you are the one that supply the needs for lord according to your riches and glory in christ yes so about to bring your lecture session on godly relationships pertaining to women i pray that the women and men in the body of christ will be uplifting and inspiring and having a sense of joy in their hearts and joy coming from the morning trouble will not last always yes we have to go through all these storms but at the end it's very it will build us up it will make us stronger and wiser in the body of christ so I'm about to bring everything here in the name of jesus christ the lord amen so i hope this these verses you can read it over right it will be a blessing to the hearts but now we are going on to chapter 5 right in chapter 5 in on becoming a better godly woman in Christ okay godly relationships all right I'm looking good today in my blue right but God is good all the time all the time God is good so on becoming chapter 5 on becoming a better better godly, godly woman in Christ right keep challenging yourself as woman but it could be for men too right Keep challenging yourself as women and men, right? Don't just allow yourself to fall into stagnancy and complacency. Keep going and doing things each day that challenge you to both mentally and physically, right? Life just gets dull if we don't regulate, um, push ourselves out of our comfort zones. So men and women need to understand this, right? If it is you don't allow yourself to not become stagnant, that means do not become stagnant, do not become stuck and complacent, right? That means sticking in one place. Allow yourself to be free like a bird. Allow yourself to go exercise. Do something that you like to do, right? But I mean in this, in this whole um, corona thing, right? We have to be careful, right? But at the end of the day, we must breathe fresh air, right? This is holding us back from breathing fresh air, right? 
But we as women of God and men of God have to take it very ser seriously in our daily lives and allow no one to have us suck, right? So that's why we have to detox ourselves and pray and understand that we have to love ourselves more, right? In the body of Christ and take care of our well-being, what God gave us, right? So it says, right, is that keep going. Keep going means never give up. Never give up on whatever God calls you. Never give up on your goals. Never give up on what you want to accomplish or to achieve in life, okay? That is what that, uh, that is said, right? Because when you do things, you're challenging yourself. So we have to keep on challenging ourselves as women and many body of Christ to become a better version of ourselves. Right? And not be complacent or stuck in any area of our lives. We have to make it flow. We, because when you keep it stuck, right? Stuck, keep, stuck means when you are in a place that is your mental, you are a mental victim of yourself, right? You are allowing your consciousness to bother you. You are allowing things to get stuck. But when you are free, you see, when you detach yourselves from people in life, negativity and you stay by yourself right you will allow yourself to breathe more better space you will have space you'll not be holding on to old trauma you won't be holding on to old thoughts and all these things you will be free right because your mind must be free and you will be able to see the bigger picture but when you are stuck when you are complacent and stagnant that means that you're stuck in your ways you're stuck your old mindsets right you're allowing the enemy to have you stuck, right? And because you believe in, you mustn't believe in the enemy, you, know, you must believe in God. The enemy is a liar, right? The enemy will try to bring distractions in your life, all right? And you will find, well, how it is, I'm not moving away, right? It's because God wants a relationship with you. It's because God is talking to you. But you are not listening. You need to listen to the voice. Do not listen to no other voices but God's voice. Okay, the Holy Spirit voice when it talking to you, right? So keep doing the things that you love to do, right? And challenge you both mentally, physically, and emotionally, right? Life just gets dull, right? So life will always get dull if we don't put ourselves in a place, in a position that we have the choice. We have a choice. You see, when you make the correct choices in life, choices change its character. Right, listen to that video. That video will explain to you the reason why we have to make the correct choice in life and the correct decision will be based on how we want to interpret ourselves as Christian people, how we want to go about life. It's a journey. When you want a journey, right? A journey could be how far it is. It could be how far it is, but that doesn't mean nothing, right? When you are at a far place at a at a long distance, right? Some people are in long distance relationships and they find it hard how it is I cannot see the person and think, no, do not worry. God's timing, right? Wait until God's timing is right and then you can see the person. In the meantime, you, you and the person have a spiritual connection or whatever, right? You and this person, it meant to be, right? Because the Bible, Adam was for Eve and Eve was for Adam, right? So God created the first man. The first man was Adam. God breathed into man and man became a living soul. The Garden of Eden in the Old Testament in Genesis. Right? You can look back at that. But this is saying that we have to fix ourselves correctly and come into alignment with the Lord Jesus Christ and agreement with him and focus on ourselves more rather than focusing on what other people have to say. Yes, in this last days we'll have gossiping and we'll have people criticizing and judging and all these things, right? But we cannot stop that. All we have to do is focus on what is on ourselves. Focus. Have a straight head. Look at what is in front of us and not behind, right? Because do not look back, but look up. Look up, look forward, and know that you are determined to do something and achieve your goal, right? So life just gets dull. We don't regularly push ourselves. So we need to push ourselves out of our comfort zone. So out, out of our comfort zone means that we are in a place, stagnancy, 
right we are in a place that we are getting fed up the same things over and over repeatedly like a record in our minds and our brains right and the same same old people we thought were friends were enemies to us right we need to come out of that that space of mentality victimization stagnancy and come into a place of rest and peace and joy that mean if you have to relocate you have to relocate right you cannot be comp you cannot be stagnant and then want to say well okay jesus fix me wash me you have to remove yourself from toxicity you have to re detox yourself and purify yourself and repent and surrender your life to the lord you have to be a changed person you cannot be going back it that was a story okay let me let me explain to you all something right let me give you all an example when a writer is writing a book you have to think before you write a book right you cannot just write a book just so based on right you have to have all the credentials ready you have to have every single thing ready right to write a book so the chapter one right it starts in the beginning right and then it ends it have the middle and then it have the end to the story right so just as the journey right sometimes god will send you god will show you your friends who's your friend right and you have to know in the beginning you know the person from years back you know the person from going to school right the person and you could be having a good friendship but that is not the end of the story right that was the beginning right and then the middle might be a different and then the ending might be a different thing too so we have to learn our life lessons we have to learn what god will call us to do right sometimes god will send people to test you right as if you change or not right or god will reveal to you and expose what the enemy is doing right all the old people who were your friends are no longer your friends because you have a new mindset in christ they will come back all your past might haunt you right but we have to stay focused we have to shut out them toxicity from our lives because if we don't if we don't do that if we don't relocate or do what we have to do and make space for the new and the old is coming yes to haunt us or whatever they say right we are we will have to we will still be in this in the um victimization mindset mentality right because we will be stuck and stagnant but if you if you you could break you could break every yoke of the enemy by saying all these um i renounce and thing doing all these affirmations you have the power to change your life around you have to be comfortable within your own self as a woman of god and a man of god okay so that is what it means right so You must try you must come out of your comfort zone and try something new so that means to say all the old things what the enemy is bringing up all the people and them who hurt you all the people and them who do your wrong things in life all people and them who disrespect you all these haters and envious people you have to cut them off of your life you have to learn to grow on your own and when you learn to grow on your own and when to develop on your own and need to do self-love and self-care and learn to do things on your own god will send you the right people right so you all you have to do is study you and focus on what you want to accomplish and achieve and try something new forget detox yourself from people detach yourself from people and you'll be able to think more better and breathe more better okay men and women of god so don't hold yourself back so never ever hold yourself back right always go go for it right go for what you love to do if you love to do singing right and you want to do training go in a singing class join a singing class if you want to do um dancing i suggest you go to the ballerina class right some people just don't not everybody will be the same but whatever you want to do if you want to make um crochet or do some things do it right you see when you try something new in life you'll be able to accomplish success and these things but if you 
keep on staying in the same place and it having you stagnant and down and out you will be stressed right and you don't want that this depressed and stress is not nice at all right so try something new folks T try something new today saints of god try something new today right woman in christ and men in christ try something and you will see right so don't hold yourself back just because of self-imposed limitations right so don't hold yourself back strong women and strong women don't let their minds control them right or dictate what they can and cannot do push past their barriers even if it feels uncomfortable so do not allow your mindset do not allow the enemy to control your life right detox yourself from toxic people negative people and you will see a change in your life right focus on what you want to do keep charging yourself as women and men of god right keep doing these affirmations keep going the direction that you want to go and god will lead you to the right path okay so i hope this will be a blessing to your hearts i hope this will encourage men and women to focus to see what is in front of them and not look back and never give up on your dreams never give up on your goals and allow jesus christ and wait for the right timing to get your spouse or to get boaz or to get esther or whatever right because god is doing a work a miraculous work in your life right so i i'll just recap in we dealt over today psalms one to six one to seven and then we dealt with on becoming a better godly woman in Christ, right? And keep challenging yourself as woman was the topic today. So I just want to say keep challenging yourself, woman and men too, right? Anybody at Christ. And do not allow your mindset or do not allow people to dictate your life. Always remember, because that is a manipulating, controlling spirit, right? As a stronghold. Do not allow the strongholds to control your life. Allow Jesus Christ to come into your life. Repent and surrender your life to the Lord. And allow that. Okay? So you have a blessed Friday. Right? You have a blessed Friday. But let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this whole video. I pray, Father, in my Jesus, that men and women who are in the body of Christ will learn to forgive and learn to have compassion and learn to love themselves more. And do not let them... Do not allow their mindsets to hold them back or get them stagnant or stuck in a situation. Father, Lord, they will be free. They could free themselves on their own, but they have to do this the correct way by praying, by seeking you, by repenting and surrendering their life to the Lord and allow Jesus Christ to come into their hearts and that, Father, Lord, they will be blood, they will be blood washed Christians, Father, Lord, and they will re be renewed and have a new life of living. So I pray, Father, Lord, Jesus, that whatever they are, in the world, Father Lord, that you have a blessed day, Father Lord. And I pray, Father Lord, Jesus, that Lord, they will take heed for this video. They will take down notes. They will understand and they will go and focus on Jesus Christ all the time. So I'm about to leave and take care. In the name of Jesus, have them blessed day. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, amen. So I hope you love this video. Even though it was short, it was short and sweet today. And I hope it will be a blessing to men and women in Caribbean and America all around the world. That. You are special in God's eyes and do not let no one take away your happiness or joy and peace from you and detox yourself from negative people, right? And detox yourself if you have to relocate, relocate as possible, as soon as possible because if you do not do that, right? If you do not do that, the enemy will try to take advantage of you, right? And people too. So do not study these naysayers and do not study people. Just focus on the Lord. Seek the Lord daily and you will see blessings, favors, open doors, opportunities, financial breakthroughs, everything coming in one time, right? And cleanse yourself, purify yourself, purify, okay? I'm looking nice in my blue today. Okay, so
so i hope you all have a blessed day and i will see you all tomorrow on bible study tomorrow please the lord and then monday will be the last topic on godly woman chapter six and then i'll be doing some healthy tips i'll give you some healthy tips on how to take off your hair and thing before i go into the prayers right before i go into the prayers the um intercession prayers okay so love you already love of jesus and you take care of yourself take care of your well-being detox detach and learn that jesus christ love you okay so have a blessed day and see you all on another video tomorrow please lord okay have a blessed fantastic friday and bye